It's good morning class. May I request everyone to please stand up for the prayer. Okay, so let's bow our head and feel the presence of God. The name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the So before you take your seats, kindly arrange your chairs. Okay. So you may now take your seats class. So I am Joyce Baila, your teacher for this subject. Is everybody present? Please check if your seatmates are there. Okay, very good class. So now, I have prepared a simple activities for us to learn this morning. So, I am going to show the pictures and you tell me what you see in the picture. Do you understand? Very good. So first picture. What do you see in the picture or what is the child doing in the picture? Serving. Very good. What about this one? Sitting. Very good. This one? Blocking. Another one? Spiking. And the last one? Passing. So very good class. So based on the picture, what do you think our topic for today? Anyone from the class? Volleyball. Very good. So now, we will talk about volleyball. But before that, let us know our objectives first. After going through this lesson, you are expected to define volleyball, identify the basic skills of volleyball, and execute the basic skills properly. Alright class, are you ready for our lesson for today? Okay, let's start. So what comes in your mind when you hear the word volleyball? Anyone? Yes! Volleyball is a team sport, no? And it usually consists of six players in which a ball is being hit on a high end of the ball reaches the opponent's side of the court that is considered as a point. So are you familiar with these people? Eliza Valdez, very good. How about the other picture? So he is William G. Morgan. He is a physical director of the Young Men's Christian Association or YMCA. He is the inventor of volleyball in 1895, which is originally called Mentonet. So the name Bali Ball, which is two words, was adopted in 1896 when a spectator Alfred Hosted observed that the ballying nature at the exhibition match at the local YMCA and suggested the name change to William Morgan. And then in 1952, the name was changed to one word, namely volleyball. So the two words became one word. Next is Eliza Valdez, a famous volleyball player. She is the professional player of the sport volleyball, a Filipino volleyball player who currently playing for Creamline Cool Smashers, no? She is a good, she's good both indoor and beach volleyball, and she is very famous. And now, let's proceed to the five basic skills of volleyball. So the first is serving. It starts every game and every player needs to perform this skill. The serve is the only time during the match the one can actually hold and control the ball. So the player who serves is called server. Next is passing or pass. Passing the ball to the sitter in a way that makes the sitter job easier. So the better job passer does, the easier it will be for the sitter to sit the ball and attack her. So next is blocking. A blocker plays a very important role in volleyball teams, defense, and there is no question about this. The main responsibility of a volleyball blocker is to resist an opponent attack. It is not easy to be a good blocker. In fact, blocking is more than jumping up and keeping your hands up in the air. And then the spiking. Spiking is the act of slamming the ball in downward motion across the volleyball net to the other team's side of the court. So when, when done well, spiking is very difficult to return, which is why it is essential skill. A proper spike will help accumulate points quickly. So spiking is important because the better your team at the pass, safe, 
hate and more likely your team will win. So is spiking the ball as well as defending spikes from opponents. Seating is the second step of passing and it can be done to either dump the ball over into a defended spot or to set the ball into a position that allows the hater to spike it over. If the ball is hit inches away from the net, the hater has the flexibility to hit it anywhere they want. So what are those five basic skills of volleyball? Serving, passing, blocking, spiking, and setting. <laughs> and to assess what have you learned today's lesson, so let's have an activity. Go get your paper and pen and be ready. Now, let's begin. What volleyball skill is this? 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 What volleyball skills is this? When was the volleyball invented? Who invented the volleyball? What is the term of volleyball before? So I remember those five basic skills of volleyball class, ha? Huh? So now, if you have really understand our lesson for this morning, so I'd like to ask one of your classmates to answer my questions. Um, may I call Bea? Can you please enumerate the basic skills in volleyball? Okay. Okay. Very good. And Nadi, please stand up and answer my questions. So among these five basic skills, for you, what is the easiest basic skill that you can do? Okay, she said serving. So another, um, Janie. So among these basic skills, what is the difficult skill that you can do? Okay, she said blocking. Okay, very good everyone. So I assume that you've got our lesson for this morning about the basic skills of volleyball. So for your assignment, just create a video compilation of these five basic skills of volleyball. And please study about our lesson today because tomorrow I will give you a, a quiz. So do you understand? So I think that's all for today. Everybody stand up and goodbye class!